types of planes uh, that they're using for the chemtrails. And then probably why the FFA can't do a thing about them, because they don't show up on their radar. They're not allowed to do anything about them. Uh, they don't want to do anything about them, probably. Uh, and so, yeah, two different planes. And they very well could be. I mean, the Chinese could have some technology going that we don't have. Uh, you know, I don't know if the Chinese behind it. I know the aliens are, so I don't know. I don't, can't say they are. Was Goliath the last of the giant race? No, of course not. Uh, did David bury Goliath's head at Golgotha, which is the place crucified on top of it, in order to fill the prostrate, and the seed will be bruised against head? No. <laughs> and Satan's <laughs> bruised the heel of Eve. No, you're, you're mixing up scripture there. You're twisting it all up. Um, no, Goliath certainly wasn't the last of the giant race. Uh, because we've had... I'm trying to think of the timeline here. Uh, so I can name different cities that we've gone to war against. Uh, you know, giants to this day, are st we still have the DNA in our human gene pool, obviously. Look up the MBA if you need reinsurance. <laughs> Seven foot human beings. <laughs> Even the football teams now, you know, my son plays football and, and uh, you know, there's guys and my my nephew plays football too in college football and his friends are six foot eight, you know. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, still definitely in the gene pool. Uh, Goliath was just one of the Philistines. You know, that was just one race. You had 20, 20, 18 to 20 other races at the time of giants. And Genesis 6, 4 says that angels fell before the flood and after. And so uh, we've always had them. The thing about it is that uh, over time, over mutations of DNA, that giantism defect uh, was perfected to where their hybrid children could actually just look uh, normal height. You know, they say it was mutations over generations of that DNA. How do you keep, this is another, another listener, how do you keep from going nuts when the New World Order keeps attacking your sites and your show? Well, you, you know, I've been dealing with it since 2003, so. <laughs> you learn to laugh. <laughs> and then you just get mad and put up another website. <laughs> Or start another list, or post another code, or, or do another radio show. You know, I don't back down to these people, and I'm never going to back down. And I've got work to do here. You know, and if I can't have my websites, and my, you know, people can't get to my websites, they can get my books off of Amazon, download my articles off my websites, and read them, print them out, pass them around. I don't care. Um, you know, you just have to stay level-headed because, uh, you know, that's not even the half of it, folks. That's not even the half of it. Try being under surveillance 24-7. There's things I don't talk about at all on this show. Uh, and so it's just, you know, it's just being a warrior for the lords. And the listener, Sherry, just wanted to say I've admired your work for two years, but tonight is my first time I've ever listened to any internet radio show. I'm glad your show is my first experience. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate hearing that. Uh, there's no real organization here. <laughs> just me. Just me doing things. Uh, I like it that way. I don't have anybody trying to control me, and, and anyone who's gotten close to me knows I can't be controlled. Uh, and so it's just as well. You know, I don't have people driving me nuts telling me what I should do, uh, what I should do, what, sh what I should put on the air, what I shouldn't, whatever. Uh, I like it that way. Sister Sherry. If you had anyone asking about strange metal surface, uh, yeah, yeah, metallic sulfur taste in the chemtrails lately. Also, I've noticed black lines that the planes follow to lay the trails. Any idea where the black lines are coming from? You know, that's a new one to me. Uh, I just seen that somewhere on the website the other day. I didn't pay attention to it. I don't know what the black lines are because, folks, I don't have chemtrails here. You know, <laughs> I mean, I we're going to this area. I live in a two-horse town, and I put about 30 Oregon pucks around this town, and I just do not get chemtrails here. Uh, I've seen the planes come, and I've seen them leave. <laughs> I have big, fluffy white clouds when it's nice out. Um, and so, you know, going up to Cleveland's a real eye-opener because, well, you know, my mother lives up in Cleveland, and, and they're just crisscrossing the sky all day long. And how that retarded weatherman can sit there and say, mentally challenged weatherman, 
sit there and say that they're just calm trails and that chemtrails are nothing but a crazy conspiracy. He needs to get outside and stick his head and stick his head out his uh, BMW or Mercedes for about five minutes and look up at the sky and watch these planes because a chemtrail chem uh, plane, a regular normal plane, flies across the sky and you no longer see it. It's on its way to somewhere. It lands in an airport somewhere. It's on its way to the next town somewhere. These chemtrail planes are back and forth all day long with their little tic-tac-toes in the sky. And so how can anybody not see this? I don't know. They have to be paid off to be that stupid. Uh, and that strange metal sulfur taste, folks, I don't know if that coming from, well, I'm sure it does, because chemical-sensitive people, they just get under attack when chemtrails are in the air. They, they, they experience all kinds of nasty uh, things from the chemtrails. I do know that that's an uh, effect from ELF, extreme low-frequency rays. And if you're sitting in front of your computer and you start getting that metal sulfur taste in your mouth, you are being ELF attacked to your computer monitor. And I can guarantee you this. If you turn it off and walk outside and stay outside for five or ten minutes, just get in your car and leave and go down the road, you're going to feel much better. Because you're being attacked to your computer monitor. And that's why the Lord led me to Orgo, and I have Orgo on top of my computer monitor. Uh, I have it out in my yard. I have Orgo everywhere. And I no longer suffer these ELF attacks. But they also will hit your chest area so that you feel like you're having a heart attack. Uh, they do. Uh, you know, you can see me sitting in front of your computer monitor. I uh, feel like you're drunk, feel like you're on drugs, something's wrong, you don't know what the heck's going on. Turn it off and just leave your house because you're under alpha attack. And that's extreme low frequency rays. Uh, and I talk about it at my website, tearingdownstrongholds.com. Uh, so you can go there and learn more about the different types of technological, technological attacks you're under. Because <laughs> uh, this, is, this is prevalent. I mean, that, you know. Some people go through this for years before they learn how to fight against it. Uh, another question from a listener. Uh, my question, where do these planes all come from? I live in the upstate New York area, Albany. And last year I was at the airport waiting for my flight, and above the airport the sky was loaded with chemtrails. Are aliens flying these planes? And, ha and I have seen the planes just vanish before my eyes. Yeah, because there's two different types of planes, like I've been saying. You have your literal UN, Army, military planes, and then you have your alien craft. They're both doing it. Uh, and so when you look at the white planes, if you'll notice holographics, the Lord pointed something out to me with these holographics, they kind of have a bluish tint to them. And so when you're looking up at the sky and you, and you see a holographic, you see a plane that has a bluish tint, it's a holographic because otherwise it's a draw, it's that, that drone thing. Uh, and I've talked about this before, being at the football field at one of my son's practices, and a little white plane going across the field, and all of a sudden it lost its cloaking, it's lost, it lost its holographic image of a plane, and it was this big drone, this cylindrical drum type thing with sprayers coming out of it, and it was bowsing, buzzing really loud. This thing must have been a defect or something. Uh, but yeah, you know what these things look like? They just appear out of the sky out of nowhere. They, they, they never run out of gas, do they? They just keep going all day long, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, always like three or four. Uh, so yeah, in Albany you need Oregon. You need Oregon in Albany. Uh, I know I've sent some up there to upstate New York, but I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of work going to cover an area, uh, and everybody needs it. Everybody needs it to keep the chemtrails away from them. Uh, yeah, so you have both. You have the Navy uh, running the chemtrails program, and you have aliens running the chemtrails program. Uh, look at some of these other emails here. from Do you have an email, a question, a comment? I uh, just sent it to Sherry Talk Radio at yahoo.com.